Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. And I really um, think I'm going to go back to um, doing a flip cup pour because I haven't done one in a long time. Just a plain. Oh, I, th I think, yeah, no, it's not been too long, but I think I'm going back to basics and doing a flip cup pour. I might need a bigger cup than that, maybe. Or, or should I cook? Actually, I might go with that cup and I'll call it a straight pour. Is it a straight pour when you just pour straight, straight, straight out of the container? I think it is. But um, what I'm gonna do first, cause I've had this paint sitting round, some of it for a little while, even though I've had it covered up, I'm gonna use this as a little bit of a base. This is my, um, oh, I call it my champagne gold. It's a beautiful gold colour, uh, like a, a champagne gold colour, and I just love it. It's made out of 50% metallic gold, 50% silver. So I'm just putting this on as my base coat to slide the other colours over. Probably got way too much as normal. I won't take it right over the edges just yet because I'm sure when I'm tilting it around, that will happen. You do not have to put a base coat for a straight dirty pour, what I'm going to do now. You don't have to do that at all. So we'll see how this one turns out with giving it a coat like that. So what I'm gonna do is just put that out of the way for a minute. I'm gonna load my cup up and um, the colors. So I'm really I'm going to do sort of really bright, happy, cheerful colors, um, kind of, um, sunset pour or something similar so i've got this lovely yellow really nice bright yellow probably need a little bit more in there nice bright yellow i've got orange i've got all the really nice kind of sunset pour, uh, colors to go in here so that's my orange and then i'm going to give it a good squirt of the cool red it's all pre-made up in these containers um, with my pouring medium. So a good squirt of the red. So beautiful sunrise colour, sunset colours there. Um, I am actually going to put in, because I have it, a bit of Viridian green here. So I've got that left there, and that's beautiful. And then I had some white mixed with Viridian green. So I'll pour that in too. So it's just made it a very pale pepperminty color. Um, like I said, I wanted to use these up because they've been sitting here all week. And there, that was the Viridian green with a good dob of black in it. So to send it real dark. I'm gonna leave those there. I'm gonna add, this is white. And I did add some, um, what did I add to the white? I added uh, metallic silver to my white. So I'll go back to the sun, sun, sunsetty colors, which are the yellow, orange, and red. I actually love adding yellow to my orange. It makes the orange really much brighter and pop go back to the red so I think I've probably got plenty going on there now so just a little bit of white okay let's bring this back around this is really nice easy um, pour to do if you're a beginner 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 so I'm going to actually instead of flipping it I'm going to just do the straight from the um, cup. So let me know what it's called. Is it a dirty cup pour or a straight pour or a whatever? I can't keep up with all the names. Okay, those colors are super duper. Really beautiful, I can see already. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wow, wow, wow. 
should do it facing you so you can see those lovely colors coming out that is beautiful i just hope that i get really lovely results from these colors and because they were leftover paints from more than a week old so do one of these little hurricanes through here it'll just wow look at the colors in that cup they're just beautiful Radio. look at that that is exciting that's so gorgeous oh just a gentle tilt now it should just slide over beautifully over that gold that i have there so obviously the gold will probably not show any further <laughs> but that's okay it's just used as a slippery slide tool for the rest of these gorgeous colors to slide over. Wow. Love it, love it, love it. Certainly does look like a hurricane or a tornado coming out. Not that people that suffer tornadoes in whatever country you're living in, it's not a very nice reminder, but um, if you've been through a tornado, I'm lucky that I definitely haven't been through a tornado here in Australia. Wow, look at the colours. I know that uh, Fiona Art, Fiona's lovely Fiona, she's such a lovely lady and does absolutely awesome pours. She did one in not these same colours but similar and it just turned out beautifully so pretty sure that you all know who fiona is oh my goodness that is just gorgeous even the sides wow 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 holy dooly i do not want to mess with that believe it or not, except I'm going to give it a little whiz over with my heat wand. Just burst the air bubbles and trace through some of these lines I suppose I could do it after it's dry is um, go through with my acrylic pen some of these lines to um, highlight them it's another idea to do is go through with your acrylic pen after it's dry to really highlight some of those. Those are so beautiful. I'm gonna bring you down to have a look at that. That is gorgeous. And for if you're wanting to do a pour that hasn't got many cells, that's, that's a beautiful way of doing it. It's definitely like looking through the eye of the storm, isn't it? Or what would you name it? You tell me a name. I'm gonna bring you down there to have a close up. Wow, just look at the detailed the striations, striations, the lines and the glitter uh, because there was some of the metallics in the paint so it's created a whole glittery effect. So I did put some gloss pouring medium a little bit into those cups uh, when I was mixing the paint. Um, it was to do a different pour so I'm going to see how this dries if it actually dries glossy but look at it it's again it's telling a whole story there really um having some unbelievable well, i don't say visions but coming out of some pores you're looking deep into it and it's really you know feel as though it's really you know telling a story all on its own I know I'm weird, I'm weird, but I just feel that. Look at that. 
Okay, my lovelies, I really hope you enjoyed this and give this one a go. It's a, a simple basic technique, but with the right colors and the correct consistency of your paints, you will get awesome results. I always find if I'm doing a cup like this to have my paints on the slightly thicker side, especially if you don't want to get um, cells in it, I just find the thicker you paint, probably less likely to get cells than when I do it with a, a thinner mix. But super, super happy with that. Awesome, awesome. Okay, my lovelies, until tomorrow, take care. If you're feeling sad, lonely, depressed, please ring a family member or a friend or definitely a helpline. Do not suffer in silence.